Greetings, it's Jerry here. So I just thought I'd quickly show you a project I'm doing at the moment. This is a breakout board which takes a 32 pin ribbon cable and converts it into normal um, spacing for a proto board or a breadboard. I was forced into doing this because I couldn't find one of these particular ones online because the spacing of this was one millimeter and 32 pins and there were plenty 0.5 millimeter 32 pins or there was one millimeter 30 pins but there, were, there weren't any breakout boards I could find that were a combination of 32 pins with a one millimeter pitch. So that forced me to create my own PCB which is this one here and I'm pretty happy with it. PCB Way provided me with them. They're not very expensive when you buy these prototype boards that are small. When you get them designed, they cost a dollar a board. You have to buy five at a time, so five dollars to get this made. And um, you know, that's fantastic because I, you know, I couldn't have put this onto a proto board. I really did need to create a PCB. So I use KiCad, KiCad, whatever you want to call it designed this board, sent it off to PCB Way, and I've got this board in my hot little hand. So today I need to solder on this surface mount 32 pin connector onto my board. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> I put it on backwards. Um, this is the way that the, that the connector uh, has to be soldered on. And it's actually backwards. I wanted it to be facing this direction. Um, sorry about the glare. I wanted to be facing that direction, but I put it on backwards because I couldn't find a footprint in KiCad to um, um, for this particular cable. So I had to make it up. And of course, it didn't have a 3D view of it. And so I wasn't sure which way these went on. So it's obvious to me now, um, but, you know, I mean, these things happen. This is my first PCB, like I said, so I'm expecting to make mistakes, but connectively, um, everything seems to be fine. So I'm just going to have to solder it on backwards and live with it, which is fine because it's going to have a ribbon cable in it. The ribbon cable can flex and do whatever it wants. So in preparation for this, I... Did some research and one of the things that I heard people say is that it's very hard to push the solder paste out these syringes. So I purchased this little gadget here which apparently helps you squeeze it out. I haven't opened it so let's do that now and have a look. Yeah so it just consists of some plastic and a screw which i guess you just keep increasing the screw and then when you push down it squeezes a little more out it came with this syringe so i don't know whether it's going to work with the solder paste syringe that i bought which is what i'm hoping it will do um, because if it doesn't, I'm not going to decant this into, into the syringe that they provided. So let me just see if this fits. Okay. I'll just screw this back up. All right, so where does the syringe, I guess the syringe would go in here like that. Okay. And then you would screw that down into there. Okay. All right, that's interesting. But since I've never used this, um, I might as well just try it with, um,
squeezing it out with the ends provided. So I've had this sitting in the fridge for months. We'll try the smallest tip first. Um, <laughs> yes, so I have no idea um, because online it says that when you're not in use, you should store it in the fridge. So that's what I did. Oh my god. Okay. So this is using the syringe as supplied. I have no idea whether I'm even going to get anything out of this, but let's zoom in so you can see. And we'll find out together. So let's just try. I'm just going to squeeze the end and see whether anything comes out. Oh, and yeah. And that, I think, is an awful lot for what I'm intending on doing. Okay, and it doesn't seem to want to stick. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever tried to use it. No idea what to expect. Yeah, it really doesn't want to stick onto the board. I've got a little dental pick here. Right, so I can squash it down. Oh, I see. So it really is difficult to put on. Hmm. Okay, so I did see a post or a video on the internet where some guy was mixing the solder paste with liquid flux to thin it out to make it easier to apply. So maybe that's what I need to do. I've got this little lid of something. So I might put a dob of stuff in here and I've got a flux pen which will be difficult to get the stuff out of and I've got some of this stuff um, this sticky flux so maybe I'll just put a little bit of that in there and just see because that would be much easier if, if I could use that and so mix those together and let's see if this oh yeah okay it's much easier and just it'll just sort of dab on nice okay so can I just drag just drag that along the Adds. And yeah, you can see how much I have left over. So, little dab will do ya. Okay, so I better fire up the soldering iron and let's see what happens. I'm just going to tack on the first pin and then move down the line. Just touching the end of the soldering iron against each pin individually. And as you can see, it's melting quite nicely. But here I'm just going over them again. Make doubly sure. The great thing about this is that there's no solder blobs. I'm not bridging any of the pins. Now I'm just soldering on the anchor points. So just touching it against the end there and melting the solder that's underneath. And that seems to be working quite well board there. That's one of the good things about the solder paste is that it is actually sitting underneath the pad there. And I just want to check the filleting to see that the solder has actually joined well and truly underneath. Now I give it a bit of a clean with IPA 
get rid of the residue and it's time to do the push test so just pushing against each pin in turn and you can see here that there's two pins which move so they're going to need to be resoldered but all the other ones look fine so I'm just going over the two pins that needed resoldering and we're done so I'll just give it all another quick test well this is my first PCB I've ever created and that's the first time I've ever used solder paste before and uh, yeah I think I could get used to that I think that the solder paste method actually was quite simple but yeah i'm very happy with that at the moment and i think i'll continue to play around with using solder paste because yeah as i move more into more complex electronics uh, the pin spacings and well the components themselves are going to be surface mount so i really need to try that now this was a special case obviously i couldn't use hot air because of the plastic i really did need to hand solder it but yeah i'm calling that a success so i just need to solder on my pin headers here and then my little breakout board is complete so here's my little breakout board in place so there's a 32 pin ribbon cable in this board coming out and my ribbon cable is going in there breaking it out into normal pitch 0.1 of an inch so breaking it out into the correct pitch to be plugged into this arduino so this is a bit of a frankenstein affair but it allows me to prototype what i'm doing and then eventually i would like to take this and create a shield for the Arduino that just slots straight in on top and just has the ribbon cable coming out. But this will do for now and it's something I couldn't have done if I hadn't had my PCB manufactured at PCBWay. All right, we'll leave the video there. So if you like what I'm doing, please consider subscribing to my channel, giving me a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao.